of YouTube. Picked up some mild steel to mount the um, electric fuel pump. Worked pretty good. Just had to cut it and uh, bend it and made a nice little bracket. It was about 12 bucks at the local hardware store. But um, there it is. I put it right there. So it's lower than the fuel tank. And that's where it needs to be. Real nice. Nice bracket I made for it. Worked out real good. I like the spot. So then, um, this is my shut off, fuel shut off. I like these things, man. These things work good. So I'll get a 90, 10, a 90 elbow, dash 10, and um, this will be off of it. Well, this way. And then I got a 10 or 100 micron fuel filter that'll go right there. And then I'll have my dash 10 line go to the pump. That's why I put it on the side. So it should work out pretty good there. Um, that's pretty much it for the trunk. Then I mounted the... Uh, just went for a drive, so what the hell? Turn this fan off. You see my new sticker. Godzilla. Anyway, I mounted the fuel pressure regulator right there. Nice little spot, sturdy. So the fuel line will come from down there somewhere into the bottom, dash eight, around, and right to the solenoid. So pretty much all I'm missing is getting the micro switch done, taken care of on the side of the carburetor, and fuel line, and a nitrous bottle fill up. That's it. Push button works. Push button start. Pretty dope. And uh, that's pretty much it for now. Can't think of anything else right now, but that's how it's going. Getting close. Really close. Oh, had to move the uh, vent tube too. No biggie. I'll show you that. It's my flashlight. I had to move the vent tube. Drilled another hole there. Because it was right where the fuel pump was. So, just moved it. No big deal. And that's about it, man. See you later.